Shalom. This is the book of Jude, verse 24. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise power our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and ever so be it giving all praises our honor and all glory to the heavenly Father <coughs> and his only begotten Son Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahaha Kodash. And double honor to my teachers, the apostles, the elders, and the bishops of Great Millstone who watch over our souls. Shall I warm to the Yakim who avoided our sincere and serious doing the will of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Bahaha Kodash. 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 1 and 2 to you all stay strong and stay mighty so I'm the brother the disciple Kosha Banyame from the branch here in Great Millstone Barbados yeah we in Barbados um, experiencing a lot of um, temperatures unusual temperatures right even though the rain falling um we're doing delivery day the other day and <clears throat> a Jake can know in the world. This man in the world, the man say, yo, big man, never can tell you, right? You see, in 2025, a lot of people can be dead, boy. I said, what are you so sorry, brother? And he go on to name a list of things, you know, that he seen happening in the world, right? And he seen temperatures that we experiencing here. So there's a Jake in the world. Right? So I remember that this uh, was put in the chat. <clears throat> Bombshell NASA called NASA documents confirm a planned, a planned, a planned, huh? Who's planning this event? Who's planning this event? Job 9.24 The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Who is the wicked? Malachi 1 verse 4 explains who the wicked are. <clears throat> you understand? Confirm a planned mass. The word mass means death. Extinction event in 2025. The people's voice. Alright? So you see somebody some of them here all right it's just some is right Edomites and the leaders of the rest of the 17 other heathen nations anyhow bombshell NASA documents come from the plan mass extinction event in 2025 the people's vo voice video <coughs> Official NASA documents reveal a shocking plan for a mass extinction event in 2025 involving biological warfare. <clears throat> biological warfare and inside job terror attacks aimed at collapsing civilization. Discover the chilling details and learn how to prepare for the worst in this eye opening article. So biological warfare could include injections, could include mosquito. Um, what's that? Wait a minute. Hold a minute. Um, uh, hold a minute, my brother. Uh huh. Right. I remember seeing this here. Triple E. Right, Eastern Equine Encephalitis, commonly called Triple E, or sleeping sickness, is a disease caused by a zoonotic mosquito. Another mosquito-borne disease, boy. Vectored Togo virus that is present in North, Central, and South America and the Caribbean. Right. So this is one here. This is one here, my brother. 
Sorry. Proverbs 29 verse No, Proverbs 22 verse 3 A prudent man foresees the evil and hideth himself but the simple pass on and I'll punish a lot of you it be so simple meaning you 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 um and you take a heed of your surroundings and you're gonna be punished man so like yeah let's go now multiple communities in massachusetts are on high alert after one person was infected ctv's paul hollingsworth has been looking into this and paul how concerned should canadians be Sandy, the Triple E virus is not spread human to human. However, if humans contract it, it has a high fatality rate. One person in Massachusetts has caught the Eastern Equine Encephalitis virus following a mosquito bite. Ten nearby communities have shut down parks after dark and are urging people to minimize outdoor activities. Occasionally, an infected mosquito bites a human, and then occasionally, of those people, Infectious disease virus is extremely rare and dangerous. She's not surprised Massachusetts is taking the risk seriously. According to Dr. Barrett, the death rate is between 30 and 50 percent. Symptoms appear roughly 10 days after infection. Fever, headache, um, changes in how you're thinking, being very confused. Um, sometimes some diarrhea, sometimes uh, some people can feel uh, some muscle aches. The triple E virus flaring up in Massachusetts could be linked to the hot weather this summer. We're going to see more severe cases, especially as summers get longer, warmer, and wet. The virus does not have a vaccine. But there are some things you can do to reduce your risk when it tends to be circulating. In these areas where there are high levels of concern, Dr. Barrett says people should minimize outdoor activities at nighttime because the mosquitoes that typically carry this virus are nighttime mosquitoes. Also, people should cover up and wear lots of insect repellent. But it should be noted, so far, these heightened levels of concern only exist in Massachusetts. Sandy. All right, CTV's Paul Hollingsworth. Let me get a precept there. Right, and then it came up to that article there. Um, of that preset, my brother. Um, <clears throat> so, hey, it's good to see is what, um, let me get down next too. This is um, Proverbs 11 and 18. The wicked work with a deceitful work. Uh, we, I just showed you who the wicked are. And you're seeing that there's a planned, a planned mass extension event for 2025. Huh? Proverbs 11 and 18. The wicked work with a deceitful work. But to him that soweth righteousness shall be a sure reward. So let me get let me get no Ephesians chapter what's that? Ephesians chapter five verse fifteen. See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time. Because the days are evil. So you can't be a fucking idiot over here, brother. Understand what's going on and what these people are planning to do. Right? So you we gotta continue to sow righteousness. You understand? Lord willing, he doesn't take his Holy Spirit from us. That we are found worthy to escape all these things that shall come. That's right. We had another preset boy. Escape all these things. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. 
know, during COVID, you have people with all kind of designs, face masks, designs, full body suits. <laughs> you know what I mean? Is right? <laughs> so you know how people can these healers can react. Even some of our people too. Is right? This is um Luke twenty one thirty six. What she did for so that's what we're doing, right? We 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 are carrying out the instructions the Lord leave for us. Right? What she did for and pray always, that's another thing. Right? This is not a time to be slumbering. This is not a time to um ignore these warning signs that the Lord has given us, which is the prophecies, brother, you know what I mean? And the things happening around you. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So, um, the implications of this revelation are staggering. It suggests that a powerful institution trusted by millions. So, one again deceived, Jeremiah 17 says, What? Curse be the man that trusteth in man and make a flesh his arm. Right? So, when you get deceived, boy, is actively involved in a plan that could lead to the depopulation of earth. Now, did not the gate say um, the earth is 7 billion people? We can lower that by having new vaccines, healthcare. New reproductive systems. You can lower that by how much percent you said. Forget how much percent you said, but this is the plan. This, the Lord said, "Be fruitful and multiply." The devil, you saw Edom is saying, uh, "Destroy and diminish." Is it? This article delves deep into the details, exposing the potential real reality of this impending catastrophe. If you're reading this, you have the right to know the truth and prepare for what's coming. The only way I, I could prepare is to I just show the preset, right? Watching, watching and praying. Because the Lord is going to have a hedge of protection over his elect. Is right? That's the only way you could prepare. Then the more the things you could store up, or it could come as a, a hurricane and frig up everything, or a host fair. You know how much host fairs we have in, in this area right now, big man? So your storehouse could be burned up. What you can do then? What you can do then? You go to retreat. Oh, I got to my retreat house. It already get burglarized. So you, you, the only way you can escape these things, right? Is number one, you got to be part of that. And secondly, you can do what the, what the Lord tell us to do. Watching and praying. You see? It says, um, NASA's role in the global catastrophe for decades NASA has been viewed as the beacon of space exploration innovation and scientific advancement however the recently uncovered documents paint a different picture a picture of a NASA that is complicit in a plot so nefarious that it, that it defies belief the documents which include a PowerPoint presentation by NASA's chief scientist Dennis Bunchell, Bushnell sorry, outlined a series of events to, set to unfold in 2025. These events are designed not just to disrupt but to annihilate civilization as we know it. The thief cometh not. Let me get that. This is Jeremiah. The I mean, um, oh shit, they're going to move. All right, Lord, when they coming back, right? John 10th chapter. So this is John chapter 10 and verse 10. The thief cometh not but to steal and to kill and to destroy. I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So who's the thief? You saw Edom is that thief. He's coming to steal, kill, and destroy. You see? He's that 
he's the rider of the pale horse. He's that. He's that horse. In, uh, Revelation. This is our uh, Revelation chapter six. Revelation chapter six and verse. Yeah, and they look and behold a pale horse, and his name that sat on him was Death, and Hell followed with him, because he is bringing death, he is bringing hunger, you name it, right? And power was given unto him, unto them, over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword, and with hunger, and with death and with the beast of the earth and they did not say that a biological weapon right see biological right biological dealing with biology right what happened here brother Related to biology or living organism, it's not the human creature, a living organism. Is that it? So he's coming to kill with sword, with hunger, and with death. And so, going back now to this article here. Um, I mean, I ain't gonna read all, right? But there was a video. I think I, I thought there was a video on it. I, I more. I thought there was a video on it, right? From that man uh, that's really glasses. Wait a minute. And the today the emergency committee met and advised me that in its view the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern i have accepted that advice the detection and rapid spread of a new clade of mpox in eastern drc its detection in neighboring countries that had not previously reported mpox and the potential for further spread within africa and beyond is very worrying in addition to other outbreaks of other clades of mpox in other parts of africa it's clear that a coordinated international response is essential to stop these outbreaks and save lives not a biological weapon, right? Byproducts of widespread the negative impact of population growth on all of our planetary ecosystems is becoming appallingly evident. The rapid and growing exploitation of the world's supply of energy and water is a matter of deep concern. And the toxic byproducts of widespread industrialization have increased us atmospheric pollution to dangerous levels. Unless nations will agree to work together to tackle these cross-border challenges posed by population growth, overconsumption of resources, and environmental degradation, the prospects for a decent life on our planet will be threatened. The recent UN meeting in Cairo is appropriately focused on one of these key issues, population growth. But the controversies which have erupted at the conference illustrate the problem of coming to grips with issues that are deeply divisive and which have a profound moral dimension. The United Nations can and should play an essential role in helping the world find a satisfactory way of stabilizing world population and stimulating economic development in a manner that is sensitive to religious and moral considerations. Economic growth is, of course, an in inevitable corollary of a growing population and is essential to improve standards of living. But without careful coordination, 
Unrestrained economic growth poses further threats to our environment. This was a major subject of discussion at the conference in Rio de Janeiro on the environment two years ago. The focus then was on sustainable growth and global development. It was pointed out at the conference that growth is most efficiently managed by the private sector. Mm -hmm. But regulation yeah. process by national governments and international bodies is also needed. And once again, the United Nations should certainly be among the catalysts and coordinators of this process. You, you want, want to hear that? I want to hear that. Missouri has reported a human case of the EH5 bird flu with no known link to animals. So everyone can't see it by now. I, I, I don't know more the time one, but hold a minute. So there's another article here, the People's Voice, <coughs> which the elder, but not that bad, did a video on it, right? But I know one, do my, I love you driving that car, though. but you know one, you know, like I said, that conversation with that Jay, he see what's going on, right? <coughs> So again, there's another another um, article here. Wicked Elite here. Billions will die, right? The global elite have been warning us about their plans to radically depopulate the earth by any means necessary, and now the results are playing out before our eyes, right? Um, In reality, the situation is more urgent than that. 2025 is a year the elite are in, are marking for a massive worldwide population decline. And according to Schwab, the global of the goal of reducing the population by more than six billion people is on track to be achieved. At this stage, I mean, we're gonna. Um, when I shouldn't be still so, so, so simple to see see all this information going out and you still remaining in a docile state. I already preached earlier, right? Be circumspect. Redeeming the time. A World Economic Forum report hiding in plain sight confirms that upwards of 6 billion people will die in 2025. And according to reports from Davos, Klaus Schwab has confirmed the stated goal is on target to be achieved. The global elite have been warning us about their plans to radically depopulate the earth by any means necessary. And now, the results are playing out before our eyes. If we have any hope of stopping them from achieving their goal of murdering the vast majority of humanity and turning Earth into a prison planet to enslave the rest, this information in the report must be shared far and wide. Before we dive in, join the People's Voice Locals community if you haven't already and sign up to become a member of the world's first ever cyber nation that truly believes in life, liberty and the pursuit of your dreams. Visit joson.com and click the join us button today. It's completely free. WF co-founder Klaus Schwab was caught boasting in a loose lips moment with reporters that Agenda 2030 is a red herring or ruse to throw normies off the scent. In reality, the situation is more urgent than that. 2025 is the year the elites are earmarking for massive worldwide depopulation. And according to Schwab, the goal of reducing the population by more than 6 billion people is on track to be achieved. A BBC journalist reported that she was summoned to Davos earlier this month for the regular meeting where Klaus Schwab briefs the mainstream media on which narratives to promote in order to advance the globalist agenda. The journalist noted that it was her first time attending the monthly media meeting in Davos though some of her colleagues have been participating for years. She describes Klaus as being strangely emotional, almost as if he were intoxicated, laughing frequently and reminiscing in a sociopathic manner about the depopulation agenda, which he admitted has been intricately planned for decades. It was my first time visiting Klaus's lair. Most of my colleagues had been there before. They warned me it would be unsettling, but nothing could have prepared me for what I... All right, so I really got to play no more. Right, uh, the mainstream media, the education system, and science have been compromised by the global elite 
paid off by eugenics billionaires and megalomaniacs to become mouthpieces of the global of the globalist agenda the next generation of leaders prepare to hammer the final nail in the coffin it's time to make a stand before Schwab's sick vision comes to fruition so I mean um I want to go back to this word here um, that's taken out to me. Where is it? Oh no, it's right here. I want to go back here, then they get close. Um, I can shut shut. I'm sorry, where is it, my brother? Um, Where is it, my brother? This is like about that. Let's see if we get it back here. Because the word nefarious, that was, the, that was one of the definitions, right? Nefarious. I mean, that's one of the words that was in the article is bringing up, right? N -E nefarious. Ooh, freak flagrantly wicked or impious evil you see that this is what these elites definitely are you see this is what they definitely are big man they are the wicked right they are the wicked I don't know what it's doing so they are the wicked you see I want to get back um, the thing I had. So remember, right? And you were nefarious here again, right? And you were there, right? Nefarious. So NASA's role in a global catastrophe for decades, NASA has been viewed as the beacon of space exploration, innovation, and scientific advancement. However, the recently uncovered documents paint a different picture a picture of a NASA that is complicit in a plot so nefarious you look at the word just now right nefarious frequently wicked or impious evil so evil that it defies belief right so um This thing going to touch the righteous door, you know what I mean? Right? This is only going to affect the wicked. Right? It's only going to affect the wicked. So that way we got to continue on this righteous path, which is serving Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh. Yah means he, Hawa means to be or exist. Bahajam means in the name Yahweh Shai. Because we come in the name of Yahweh Shai. To the Father Yahweh. Right? Yah means he, Hawa Shai means deliver our Redeemer. He is coming to redeem. He brought back the children of Israel to his father Yahweh so now we are his bride and he's coming to save us from these pestilences from this uh, from this evil that will come globally on the world big man I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress my power in him will I trust surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor for the hour that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday a thousand shall fall at thy side 
and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. See? Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, thy habitation. So this is how we prepare. We enter into the house of the Lord. You see? There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. You see? So the angels are going to guide us and protect us. You see? They shall bear thee in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Again, the angels are going to protect us. You see? They are going to protect us from these evils that will come, big man. So, yeah, you can shut shop there. They make a shut shop there. You don't see what's going on. Right? The thief is coming. Right? The thief is coming. And a lot will be um, destroyed in 2024, boy. That's right. Anyhow, all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Bahar, Kodash, Shalom.